All right, it's Wilfred Lehman here at uh, <clears throat> Puerto Rico Real Estate. Thanks for stopping by again, and we're continuing with our series about the buying process. Um, if you haven't seen my previous uh, videos, we went in depth a little bit about um, the first step, which is getting your finances together, whether you're uh, paying cash or financing. The next one is searching for your house, making sure you know exactly what you're looking for, and making sure you understand the um, searching for your home process. And then the uh, last video that we did talked about uh, negotiating and that process. So now where we're at is you have an accepted offer, you're excited, we got everything to your lender, or if you're paying cash, um, now what you need to do is you need to do your due diligence. So this is mainly a big concern for those of you that are not using a lender. If you're using a lender, a lot of this will be done and you'll be protected. But if you're not um, and you're paying cash, this is where a lot of people make a, a bunch of mistakes. So let's uh, go through this real quick. First of all, always get an inspection done on the house. Now there's a big difference. People get that confused with the appraisal. So the inspection is done at your cost, out of pocket, and what the inspector does is he goes through the quality of the house. So checks checks the, the bones of the house, the uh, plumbing, the electric, the, um, the foundation, the concrete work, like everything about the house, an inspector should do that. Now, not all inspectors here on the island are built the same, but we have one in particular that is licensed and um, the report's usually between seven to 100 pages and then he goes through everything. And what this inspection does, again, it looks at the quality of the house. You wanna make sure you're buying a good quality house. And there's always gonna be something wrong with the house. It's not gonna be perfect. Um, what you need to do at that point is find out, or what you need to do is decide, you know, how serious are the problems with the house. Some of them are pretty minor and some of them could be pretty major. And then you gotta make that decision if you wanna move forward or you negotiate with the seller to see if they'll fix it. Um, and so there's a huge negotiating process when there's some major issues with the house. Most of the time it's resolvable. So you have the inspection done. The other important um, piece of this is making sure that the paperwork is correct. Making sure that you have a good attorney that can go through and, and you have a clean title. Because of the way how things are here, um, not everything is digital. It's still um, done before the internet age where they have to walk things down to crim, where they have to walk things down to the registry and make sure everything is done. And usually there's some stuff on the title that needs to get worked. And again, most of the time it is resolvable, but you need to make sure that you do it correctly. The other um, thing that you want to do too that you don't know, uh, that you may not know is that, you know, in the States, if, you, if you're coming from the States, um, if you owe back taxes, whether it's income taxes, property taxes, or maybe you owe child support, something like that, um, typically to sell the house, you have to pay that stuff off. Unless you get the IRS to subordinate or you make an agreement and they release the lien. Here in Puerto Rico, if you don't do your due diligence and you buy a house, which has happened to one of them, um, which I know somebody that it happened to, they bought a house and then they didn't do the due diligence and they found out that they owed 40 grand in back taxes because a seller um, sold the house with the debt. And if you didn't do your due diligence, you are uh, buying that debt as well. So make sure that you do the due diligence. Now again, if you are um, going through a lender, a lot of that stuff will be taken care of by the lender because they do all that. This is mainly for you that are paying cash. Make sure you get that done. Make sure you have a good attorney. Don't take any shortcuts. Um, if somebody says they can close within seven days, that's not, uh, that's a red flag. It should be a red flag. Um, typically, if everything gets done, it should at least take two to three weeks to close. Um, again, always be safe and not sorry. Take the extra steps, slow down. I know you're excited. You wanna get in this property. Um, you wanna buy it. Slow down, make sure it's done correctly. Again, thanks for stopping by. Um, we're gonna uh, go over another piece of the process and that's basically closing on the next video. Um, and if you haven't seen the other videos, go back and check them out. If you have any other questions, you wanna have a conversation, go more in detail about this, feel free to contact me at any time, whether it's by email, texting, WhatsApping, whatever your way is. I prefer you pick up the phone and call me so we can have a discussion about that. So again, thanks for stopping by. Uh, thank you for your time. And until I see you next time, have an awesome day.